first intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, in more than four years as Western leaders gather in Brussels for a security summit. The suspected ICBM flew to an altitude of 6,000 kilometers, 3,728 miles, and to a distance of 1,080 kilometers, 671 miles, with a flight time of 71 minutes before splashing down in waters off Japan's western coast on Thursday, according to Japan's defense ministry. Thursday's launch is North Korea's 11th of the year, including one on March 16, which is presumed to have failed. Analysts said the test could be the longest-range missile yet fired by North Korea, exceeding its last ICBM launch in November 2017. Japan's vice defense minister Makoto Aniki told reporters Thursday the missile's altitude would suggest it is a new type of ICBM, a potential sign North Korea is closer to developing weapons capable of targeting the United States. The U.S. joined allies South Korea and Japan in strongly condemning the launch Thursday and called on North Korea to refrain from further destabilizing acts. U.S. President Joe Biden is currently in Belgium, where he is attending a G7 summit alongside Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The gathering is part of a series of meetings, including an extraordinary NATO summit, as Western leaders seek to align their responses to Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine. A European Council meeting will also take place Thursday. According to analysts, the recent spate of North Korean missile tests suggest the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, is attempting to show an increasingly turbulent world that Pyongyang remains a player in the struggle for power and influence. North Korea refuses to be ignored and may be trying to take advantage of global preoccupation with the war in Ukraine to force a fait accompli on its status as a nuclear weapons state, Lee Farrick Easley, Associate Professor of International Studies at UA Women's University in Seoul, told CNN.